Hello. Have you ever uh, imported an SVG file into Blender and found out that the shape wasn't smooth enough? For example, you imported a basic shape, like a circle, uh, but it just wasn't very smooth. And when you clicked on it, it was a jumbled mesh of triangles that was very difficult to edit. Well, I'll show you a quick way to turn this into this. First of all, I'm going to open Blender, which I have here, and I'll delete this cube. Now I'm going to import a basic uh, SVG shape. So I go to File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics. And I've already created one here. Now, you probably don't see anything when you first uh, import your SVG because it's so small. So if you use your middle mouse scroll wheel, you can zoom in. And I'll scale this up using the S key. OK. So it looks basic enough, a circle. So if I go into edit mode, you can see here that there's basically four Bezier points, and it's pretty much as simple as it gets. So I'll tab out of edit mode. If I click on object, convert to, convert to mesh, and go back into edit mode. You can see that it's quite a complex mesh that's created from those four basic Bezier curves. So what I'm going to do here is show you uh, the problem first. So I'm going to click Set Origin and set Geometry to Center Point to center it. Now if I go back into Edit Mode and Shift A to add another circle, Now if I tap out and convert this to an object again, to a mesh object, and if I tap back into edit mode, you can see that the shape is even more complex. And if I try to select the outside ring, it tends to not, um, not be able to select the outside ring. So if you want to smooth the outside ring, this tends to be uh, quite difficult. Now, um, if I quickly convert just the basic uh, circle uh, to a and extrude it into a 3D object, so I tab back into edit mode, select it, and press E to extrude. And if I press N to bring up just the side panel here, just double checking the uh, dimensions, I'll do this in object mode here. So I'll set the dimensions to make it consistent. Now, if I render this, you can see that the outside shape is not very smooth. And it's easy enough to, um, to smooth a shape like this using the smooth button on the left panel. But if you add other uh, 
dimensions or shapes to this object, it make it a little bit more complex, that can really uh, create issues. So if I want to export this shape as an image, I will first make sure that shading is set to the alpha is set to transparent. So that and the color, the color mode is set to RGBA, which is an output RGBA, which is RGB with an alpha. So I'll export this image only as this shape without any background. So to do that, I will render it and click here on the bottom left image and save image as. And here I will click this one and save. So here's the image that I saved. And you can see that it's it doesn't look very round. So let me escape here and I'll undo all these edits. Now, if we look at the imported SVG bef before converted to a mesh, as you can see, there's four Bezier curves and it's a closed circle. It's a closed shape. And here on the right side, because it's a Bezier shape made up of Bezier curves, I can click the Bezier icon here. And this brings up this tab and if I scroll down to Active Spline, I can change the resolution. So if I increase this to quite a high number, for example, 256, and press Enter, and make sure Smooth is selected. And if I convert this, if I tab out to Object Mode, and convert this to a shape, a mesh shape again. Now, if you look up here at the top, it has over 1000 vertices, over 1000 faces. So it's quite a complex shape for such a very simple object. As you can see here, If I zoom in, you can see that it's made up of a lot of triangles, over 1,000, comprising 1,022 triangles with uh, 1,022 faces. But if I select it and extrude it, tab back into object mode, and fix its shape dimensions to match before. And if I click render, it takes a bit longer to render because it's so complex. The shape has so many more faces. But as you can see, it's much, much smoother now. So after rendering, if I save this, save it as this one, which is the 256 resolution. Click Save as Image. So you can see the difference in how the object appears after being rendered. Now, considering the original import shape was only four Bezier curves making a single circle, it seems a bit of overkill to, to do it this way. But if you try to edit the imported object and then using uh, Blender's internal uh, 
options to modify its 3D extruded shape, it'll be very, very difficult to select and smooth the, uh, the outside ring. And this is just a much easier way of smoothing the, uh, the shape before rendering.